We have a calendar that tells us all the pet ho holidays, and there are a lot of them. A lot of them. But some of them are more dear to my heart than others. And today is Celebrate Shelter Pets Day. And the um, organization, uh, Sh uh, Shelter Pet Project, they say that if you, the person who has adopted a pet from a shelter, shares their story, hi Grace, if I share my story that other people are three times more likely to adopt a shelter pet after listening to what, you know, my experience has been adopting a shelter pet. So I could not stay quiet for this one. It's kind of a big deal. Um, I would love to see all shelters empty. I would love to see people making a pet adoption their first option 100% of the time. Um, a lot of people don't recognize that a lot of the breeds that they dream about are in shelters. So um, my goal with this uh, video is just to tell you a little bit about my shelter pet experience, which I've had many shelter pet. Um, and hopefully encourage people to just do their research. There are a lot of organizations online. Um, pet Finder is a really great place to start to find a breed that you want or a size that you want. Um, and you can put in your zip code, you find out where the pet is, and you can go meet them. Um, it's a good opportunity for me to introduce Titan. He's leaving. He's leaving. Titan doesn't want to have anything to do with this. So Titan um, was rescued at 10 days. He's wearing his little cone of shame, if you can see him. Titan. He wants nothing to do with this. So he's wearing his cone of shame because he has a rash. Uh, and it's one of those pillow um, collars. And he doesn't make him any happier. Right, Ty? Can you come say hi? Come say hi. Oh, look at you. You there. Are you the best boy in the world? He is the best dog in the world. And his story starts um, when a rescue pulled him from a high kill shelter um, at 10 days old with his litter, all male, and his mom. And they were all adopted. Titan was actually the last one to be adopted, not because there was anything wrong with him, just because I guess I hadn't come along yet. Um, Titan is nine years old now, and he is the best dog. Every day he surprises me. He is healthy. He is happy. He's accommodating. He's well um, well adjusted. He's friendly. He's, I mean, he's got his quirks like we all do, but he's amazing. Um, and had, had I not, you know, pull, taken him, I don't know that I would have even started the WAG pack, to be honest with you. Um, because of Titan, I have lived out a dream of becoming an entrepreneur and I started way earlier than I probably would have. Um, thanks to him, I recognized that there was a need for dog walking um, in a different way that was what was being offered because I needed a dog walker for him. So um, Titan inspired me to start my own business. I mean, can you believe that story? Like a dog and then nine years later, he's still with me and we're still super happy. Right, Ty? Right, Ty? I'm such a good boy. Um, and here I am, you know, an entrepreneur. So. The amazing things that shelter dogs and cats and small animals and there are even birds and who knows what else, rabbits, um, in shelters that need homes. It's amazing what stories you can like come up with. Um, Socks is my second, um, as an adult, you know, I had a, I adopted Bachi when I was 17, but she was kind of my mom's responsibility at that point. So I want to include her in my list. She's since gone to the Rainbow Bridge and she's, she was amazing. Um, but my second, um, as an adult, my second adoption from a, or of a shelter pet was also uh, pulled from the same area. It was, I think, West Virginia, where they were overpopulated by far, and they needed a lot of help, and a rescue pulled Socks and her sister. Um, and Socks has taught me more than any dog, animal, human could ever have taught me anything. She is a challenge. She's headstrong. She's energetic. Right now, she's on her third walk of the day, like in the in the past hour with my husband and the other dog, Kira, uh, because she has so much energy. She's nine years old. She's always getting into something, but she's amazing. And she and Titan have the prettiest story of how they even, how she, like how Socks ended up in our family. Um, it was time for Titan to get a mate. He was really bad at playing by himself, like outside in the yard. So 
so um, I knew he needed a mate and we took him to an adoption event. And Titan came with us, obviously, because it was important that he liked the dog we liked or that we chose. So he, we went to like one of these pet smarts or pet co's. It was in um, Chantilly, Virginia. And he went straight to socks. Like he was on a leash and he goes straight to socks. And it was love at first sight. She was like, she was the center of attention. She's like the cutest floppy eared hound dog. And like everybody was paying attention to her. So Titan was in love. And I was trying to like speed date him to the other dogs. Just like, you have to meet other dogs. Like it's, do you want a female friend? Or do you want a male friend? Like, what do you want? And he just kept beelining right back to socks. So we went home with socks that same day and they've been best friends ever since and they are inseparable and I can't imagine my life without these two dogs. I can't imagine really truly living a day without them and like the past nine years all that I've learned from them is invaluable and I love that I was able to save them. Look at this monkey with his little pillow thing on. Um, I'm happy that I was able to save them. And it also, I'm happy that by taking them, I was able to make room for more pets to be rescued. Um, we all know that pets are put down all the time. We all know that there are more pets than there are homes. Um, and it's just so heart wrenching to think that Titan and Socks, had they not been pulled, who knows where they would have gone. Um, so when you are considering adding a pet to your home, please, please, please make pet adoption your first option. Um, do your research, take your time. Adding a pet to your life is a huge commitment. And I almost feel, because I am kind of a spiritual person, I feel like we're all meant to get the pet that we get because they're here on this planet to help us and we're here to help them and we all become who we're supposed to be together. So I know for a fact that Titan and Socks were meant to be with me, that they wouldn't have fulfilled their purpose had they ended up with somebody else. And I probably wouldn't be able to fulfill my life purpose without the lessons that they've taught me. So when you are ready to adopt a pet, make sure that you take your time. Don't make any rash decisions. By all means, please avoid pet shops where you buy dogs that are probably 100% of the time it seems they are from puppy mills and you don't want to support that kind of stuff. And that's the beauty of shelter pets is there's nothing, there's no bad. It's all good. You go in there, you meet some, some pet, you fall in love and you have the rest of your lives to like, you know, learn from each other. And so if there's anything I can do to persuade you further to consider pet adoption, if you're there, if you're ready, if you're considering, you're looking, um, by all means, let us know. Beth has a nonprofit, um, Missy's Farm, where her goal is to help special needs and senior pets. There's a lot of need for that as well. So if you have it in your home and a place in your home and in your heart for a senior pet, um, by all means, please reach out to Missy's Farm. She, Beth would be happy to put you in touch with people um, and maybe help you find the right pet for you. And um, on behalf of all the shelter pets, Titan included, Thank you to all of those who have already adopted from shelters. 